Welcome back chaps, another video. This time we're going to be doing something slightly different. Hello, my name's Nick and I'm a Cosworth Geek. So in this video I'm going to be installing a wasted spark driver for motorsport developments into a level 6 Sierra Cosworth ECU. Now I've done one of these before, so when my pal Andy uh, needed one done again, lo and behold he came to me. Level 6 ECUs came on the uh, Sapphire two-wheel drive models, um, so that's what's come out of. But uh, that's not what it's going in, which is another little interesting thing. Um, actually, why don't we go and take you and show you what's going in? Yeah, let's do that. Come on. Then. Bollocks. Well, I can't show you the car at the minute because it's actually in the body shop. Uh, getting some paintwork done, but it's a lush little 1300 Ford Fiesta Mark II gear. Uh, all caged out the lot. Gold on pepper pots it's meant. I'll put a photo in now because I think I've got a photo. So I can't show you the car, but I can show you the engine. So this is the engine here, it's a 2 litre ZTEC motor, Wozna forged pistons, PEC rods, uh, polished crank, rebuilt head, T34 turbo on a boost performance cast exhaust manifold. And he's made a really nice job of this, this is a Rover 800 believe it or not inlet manifold on an adapter plate onto the ZTEC head and Andy's ported all that manifold out really nice. It's going to be a right, right good little motor. <laughs> he just needs some engine management now, doesn't he? <laughs> and you might even recognise this car here because this cosy that was Chris's on the last video used to be Andy's cosy, and before that it was my pal Johnny's cosy. The old girl gets around, eh? <laughs> it's going to be a funky little project, that isn't it? It's going to be such a wild car pushing on the doors of 400 brake horsepower in a little tiny Mark II Fiesta. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, but I love cars like that. It's just different, you know, it's going to be a whole load of fun. And it's, it's his little car, you know, it might not be your ideal car, it might not be my ideal car, but it's it's probably not even his ideal car, but I don't know, it's funny. Anyway, let's get on with this. So to do this, we're going to need the Weber Morelli Level 6 Sierra Cosworth ECU. We'll be opening that up in a minute, so we'll see what's in that. Sierra Cosworth engine wiring harness. I still think it's brilliant that, you know, something as prestigious as a Cosworth. You can basically run it on three wires, <laughs> and there's only five to connect to, so that's really good. Uh, and the kit that we're going to be using to do the Wasted Spark comes from Motorsport Developments. It's really good, to be honest, the whole kit. You get very, very good instructions where they tell you the pinouts, they tell you exactly what to cut. They even give you diagrams on the actual insides of the ECU, so you can see if you're going right. Uh, with the whole kit, you get the coil pack, which is brand new. You get the coil pack wiring harness. These are the bits that we need to interface into the engine harness. You get the ignition amplifiers and the heat sink bracket. So this is the wasted spark driver board here, and that's what we'll be installing inside the ECU. We've got some fixings to fix it, and we're also in the kit, you get some nice, big, chunky HT leads as well, but obviously we'll not be using them, and he'll be using them when he puts the car back together. So. Let's get inside this and have a look. So, the inside of a Cosworth ECU. Now, basically this Cosworth ECU is pretty sophisticated for its time and it controlled the ignition timing really, really precisely, but it did it through the output of these pins to the actual coil uh, and then obviously onto the distributor. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to be chopping out some of them feeds and we're going to be uh, changing them or replacing them with this wasted spark board which has to be fixed into the ECU here. We've got some soldering to do on this side as well but we'll get onto that in a minute. So the first things first, we'll get this board mounted. Oh, look at that. It's already got a Sue Collins performance chip in it. 
you can't make out what it says on there. I think he's going to be changing that anyway, so uh, that's going to come with new injectors, all the rest of it. Let's get this board in. Now's the bit where we're going to destroy a perfectly good ECU and we're going to do it by chopping the existing coil driver pins out. Pins 21, 20, 5 and 26. Let's get snippy. Pin. Only kidding. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. Right, where I'm securing the cores with little cable ties, I'm going to put some heat shrink on them just to protect them a little bit. It's a bit mad how I'm doing this, to be honest, because if this was my project, I'd probably just run it on standalone management, something like Emerald or DDA, something like that. Something that's, you know, like infinitely tunable. You've got closed loop lambda, knock control a lot. These uh, these Web and Rally ECUs, they're, they're sort of old hat really, but still, still very powerful. <clears throat> but it's the, it's the old school Ford boys, isn't it? I mean, they love cosy management. So if they're going to run another project on something, then shock horror, Andy wants to run it on COSI management. And I mean, it's understandable. He knows he knows what he's doing with COSI management. He knows it inside out. He knows what he has to do to get what he needs to get out of it. So it's, you can't knock him for it. And to be honest, this he probably did a deal on this, which meant that it was practically or completely free. So he's a bit of a wheeler dealer. So you can't knock them for it, but yeah, I would probably go standalone. And I mean, these are really impressive ECUs. If you think back in the mid '80s, most manufacturers are still running God carburetors, or maybe he's moving to single point injection or uh, mechanical fuel injection like Bosch KJetronic. And this is a fully electronic control unit. It was pretty impressive, really. So the first job I'm going to do is just tin the pins, which basically just means put some solder on the pins that I'm going to be soldering to. Uh, and then that'll just mean that it's really easy to, to solder onto them. So pin 26. So you can see the pins that I'm going to be soldering onto there, I've put a little blob of solder ready to accept the core. Who the fucking hell is that? Kai. Piss off Kai. So that's the board mounted, the cores sleeved and fitted to inside the ECU, and then the pins actually soldered. Now, I don't claim to be the best solderer in the world, but that'll do. It'll certainly work perfectly fine, so really, really happy with that. Now is the really tricky bit, because now there's the funky little bits of soldering that we'll have to do on this side, and we'll have to solder them to these tiny, tiny pins here. Which will be a right faff. Right, it's probably worth mentioning at this point that because I've now chopped them pins on this ECU and sort of half sold that in this board, I mean, this ECU is worth absolutely nothing. I've, I've basically broke it, so the pressure's on now 
to get it to work again. Let's see if I can. Oh. My tea's cold. Alrighty, so that's what we're doing on the back there. You can see it looks pretty much exactly the same, exactly the same amount of pins. Give you a close up of my mm, crappy soldering. It's good enough anyway. That'll work, no problem whatsoever. So the only thing left to do now is box the EC up. That's us done with that. So all we need to do now is integrate this coil pack wiring into the actual uh, Cosworth loom itself. Now the really cool bit about these wasted spark driver kits is that this Weber Morelli Sierra Cosworth ECU came from the factory as a single coil output to distributor cap ignition system. So there was one single output from here to the coil, that coil fed uh, voltage to the uh, distributor cap and the distributor cap distributed to the spark plugs. It's pretty common as soon as you start up in the power from standard that you have to maybe increase the plug gaps and the distributor cap really can't handle that so that's when you start getting misfires. The really cool bit now is that this ECU is now a twin coil output ignition system. It's a true wasted spark system. Uh, and we've completely changed how this ECU actually controls the spark. Now you've seen us chop pins 21, 25 and 26 earlier. Now 26 was the original output to the coil. Uh, now pin 26, because I've sold that onto that and I've chopped it from the ECU, uh, is the uh, signal that goes to the amplifier for cylinders 2 and 3. Um, and then you've got pin 25, which I also chopped. Uh, that now takes care of the charge to cylinders 1 and 4. And then the last one, pin 21, that's the new output to the tachometer, which is actually done by the wasted spark driver. So it's really clever. It completely bypasses what's in, in the ECU. It controls it itself. And now we just need to integrate pins 25 and 26, which are these little doohickeys, on this new coil pack wiring harness into this plug. So that's the plug off the ECU and you've got this nice rubber boot and I'm going to make sure that I keep that intact so the way I get these pins in is I'll shove the screwdriver in I'll sort of lever it up a little bit and hopefully get these pins in without damaging them and then we'll get them into the plug. As I've already said as well I'm a big fan of the Cosworth YB engine as well I think it's just got so much character you know what I mean and I know it's, I know it's like from an old Pinto block and, you know, it's old hat, but they've just got so much character compared to, uh, you know, like 18Ts and K20s, modern engines. Didn't get on to actually about K20s. Why is it all people that like K20s are so obsessed with the fact that, oh yeah, K K K20s can take like 400 horse from standard? Really? Well, that's not impressive. I mean, why be engines? or making 400 horse on standard internals in the 80s. And if you think about now, here in 2019, all YBs are right up to say like 25 going on to maybe even 30 years of metal fatigue. And yet the benchmark figure for standard internals for a YB Cosworth lump is what, four to 500 horse? 400 from a K20 in 2019? Not that impressive, really. 
But yeah, as, as you know, I, I play with uh, 18Ts quite a bit. And uh, as soon as you start looking at the figures and you realise, God, 18Ts are just made of cheese, aren't they? Because it, it's really not impressive the power you can get out with them either. <laughs> oh, it's a right fiddly mess, this. There's the first one through. It's a bit of a chew on that, actually. So now it's just a case of pushing the pins home to where they need to go in the plug. So just like the ECU connector here, the plug pins are numbered. So now we'll just have to push these home to the relevant pins. Now the blue goes into pin 26, which is here and you can see that there's nothing in there. It's a spare. And all we've got to do is push it in so it matches the same orientation as the other ones. So here we go. It. It's clicked in, so blue, pin 26, and then white goes to pin 21. Clips in, super duper. Right, now that they're in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some loom tape around here and then we'll get the connector back on. It's a nightmare reusing this stuff if you don't make a little tab again. You spend like ages trying to find where your bit was. So that's the loom work finished as well now. The ECU plugs back together and you can see that the wasted spark driver loom is fully integrated into the loom now. So even though they look like two separate looms, they're actually one complete loom now. And we'll probably just wrap this up a bit nicer when we put it in the car so this is just uh, you know to get it up and running and then we'll see about uh, what we need to do for that so that's it the wasted spark driver install completely done so the next step will be getting the loom and the ECU into the car obviously as I said before this isn't for a Sierra Cosworth it's actually putting Cosy management onto Andy's two litre fully forged big turbo ZTEC engine which is going into his uh, Mark II Fiesta a little 1.3 gear so mint little car and it'll be a really good project and I'll probably follow, uh, follow up this video with another video when we'll actually install it on the car and get it running I reckon that'll probably be pretty cool right I think that'll do for this project uh, thanks very much for watching if it's helped you out then uh, give us a thumbs up I really would appreciate it and if you plan on doing this uh, yourself then hope this video uh, gives you some sort of little pointers as to what to look for I have to say the instructions are really good they really, really are good, and let's face it, a nugget like me can do it, so um, you know, anyone can do it, trust us. But uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, I'll see you on the next one.